Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more missing women and children cases. This is the mystery channel 33. We are here to break the codes if we see any. We are here to see where their bodies are located. If they know, and we also here to see if they are alive, deceased, body suited, misidentity, or change of ethnicity. Okay. Oh, we got a crack. Holy horse. Okay, Lord Jesus. Y'all really should know who's OG. Y'all really should know who's involved. Ugh. My polio acne. Y'all really should know who's involved. The African Americans, the KKK, the white supremacists, okay? Um, sorry, I ain't, I'm doing it late. I had a busy day, okay? So let's begin. We be talking about a young child named Dynasty. D-Y-N-A-S-T-Y. Alexander. 18 murdered by men who offered her a ride okay this is how she looks okay the call for justice had been answered in the case of dynasty Atlanta, uh, alexander on march the 3rd 2019 the remains of the 18 year old were located in tula california not far from elk bayou park after a person driving by saw her body in the rural area. It was around 5.23 p.m. when Dynasty was located and police determined she had only been deceased for a short time. She saying who? Investigators also found that Dynasty only had injuries to her upper torso. So she saying she is cut apart. She, I'm hearing her say the words including strangulation marks and a gunshot wound wound okay she's saying yes it's also how she looks the slaying of the mild manor teen shocked the community and it did not take long for police to find this suspect after viewing surveillance cameras in the area Dale Rossin, 52, was identified as the man seen in the footage, and immediately, police not only wanted to frack him down, but they attempted to piece together his relationship with Dynasty. According to the teen's loved ones, Dynasty Alexander was a free spirit. She did not like accepting help from anyone. She's saying yes, even though she was struggling and she described as being a fussing person. Dynasty reportedly had a history of running away from home and dealt with drugs and substance, substance abuse issues. But those who knew her reflected on a kind hearted young woman trying to find her way. Someone with so many resources was taken away from us at a young age, said Carlton Jones, Dynasty's cousin. No, okay, this is not her real family, but yes. I always had high hopes for her. Just days prior to her murder, Carlton said he dropped off a care package to Dynasty filled with clean clothes and shoes. In turn, she gave some of those items to others in need, including the movie radio. The teen's friends offered to let her stay at their home, but Dynasty would reportedly only remain for a short time before returning to the streets, okay? She's like one of the girls there behind the looks. Authorities determined that on March the 3rd, 2019, Dynasty Alexander needed a ride to the store and Dale Rossin offered to help. Somewhere during the trip, there was an altercation and Rossin attempted to strangle Dynasty, eventually shooting her. Now it's so much different from our childhood. Carton told reporters, told reporters, what breaks my heart the most is the fact an adult had an opportunity to cross paths with a child and decided to hurt them. She thought everyone was cool and no one was going to hurt her. It's a sad time to teach children that there are people who can hurt you. Who? Kathy, Kathy Lupta, the co-founder of Genesis House, okay, them. An organization that offers help to the homeless youth, they do get the homeless people, said that Dynasty wasn't ready to receive help to change her lifestyle. 
So many kiddos out there just don't have a clue what kind of danger they were in, she said. These are codes to the parents as well. Rossin was convicted of second degree murder. Reports stated that he also had several arrest warrants. He right here, he just popped up for failing to appear in court and violating probation. See, he was later sentenced to life in prison in their system. Please share this story about Dynasty Alexander to help bring awareness to the dangers that our homeless youths face. She is our sister and her life matters, okay? He's really sending shots, okay? The child is gone, okay? Same thing, okay? And the other two. Um, so if y'all like the hell with this case, y'all can. I don't do this for the fame or the money. I do this because this is what I love to do. And read down below for more information. Thank you.